Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what is on my iPhone 11 Pro Max and my iOS, there's a hair on it, <laughs> and my iOS 14 layout for my phone right now. I have done a couple of iPhone videos in the past and you guys really seem to like them. So I thought I'd show you guys what's on my iPhone. I have really made it look very pretty recently. So I'm so excited to share with you guys. It took way too long to set it up but that's why I want to show it to you just because I need to justify spending all that time on it. So before we get started please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like iPhone videos and follow me over on Instagram if you have not already and let's go ahead and get started. So let me go ahead and record my screen. All right first things first is the main page. Actually I'm gonna move over so that I can put it over here. So this is the main page. This is pretty much the only page that I have any apps on but we're gonna start with this widget at the top. It is from Widget Smith as you can see it's labeled Widget Smith but it says fearfully and wonderfully made which is from my favorite Bible verse Psalm 139 14. It says your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I am wonder fearfully and wonderfully made. That was probably backwards, but whatever. So I have that there as just a reminder. And then below that, I have another widget that has this picture. It looks like someone just standing, letting water go over their feet at the ocean. And I thought it looked really good with the colors of the apps. So now we move on to the actual apps. We have the phone app, which is the most basic function of a phone. It is the thing that all phones do, regardless of a flip phone or a house phone or literally whatever. It's the most basic function. And I used to hate having the app covers on here for the shortcuts but they changed it so literally it doesn't do anything like it just goes straight to the app like it's the app so I love that so most basic thing I have it there so that I can get to it really easily then we have my socials which is probably my second most which is my most used folder so first I have Facebook I feel like everyone has Facebook how much we use it changes based on who you are but I have a limit a screen time limit for Facebook on my phone for 30 minutes so that I don't spend too much time on there sometimes I get distracted looking at videos and stuff but for the most part I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook Facebook. Then we have Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, here is my profile. It's just Hunter Merck. It's the same as my username here on YouTube. So I am really trying to grow on my Instagram. So I'd love it if you guys would, like I said, follow me. I have been posting more reels recently and it's been a lot of fun. So, and then I also have like a book highlight cover on here, which is one of my favorite things to do all year long. So I love that. And I regularly update my highlights. So I hope you guys will check that out. And then we have TikTok. Um, here is my TikTok. It's also the same as my Instagram and my username on here. This is my username for everything, by the way. Um, so if you want to find me on anything, if I have it, it's going to be this username. But this is my TikTok. I had one go viral last year. It has 69.8 thousand views. And then another one that's 60.3 thousand views. Nothing has even come close since then. So that's fun. But there's that. There's my TikTok if you want to check that out. And then I have Messenger for Facebook. And it's the app that you use to message through Facebook. Uh, just in case somebody doesn't have my phone or we also have a family group chat with Mason's family and his brother and all that because they live overseas. Um, and then I have YouTube Studio. If you are a YouTuber, you probably have this app. It gives you analytics for YouTube. So it shows you how many subscribers you have, the views, your revenue, the clicks, the impressions, all of the analytics you could ever need are on the Studio app. And a fun story, you guys probably don't care at all, but whenever I changed all of my apps to the shortcuts, I was going through and I like, there was a lot of planning involved in this but I was going through and I noticed that I bought a pack from Etsy. I noticed that there was not a studio app so I had to make it myself. I made it in Procreate on my iPad and I just traced the logo. Super simple and I'm glad I only had to do it to one app because otherwise it would have taken way too long. But then next I have a Pinterest. I've kind of just started dabbling in Pinterest again. Here is my Pinterest. This is all the stuff that I've added. So like I added all my YouTube videos from this year. I have added all my products from my Etsy shop on here and then I've also added some Instagram pictures that I thought looked pretty Pinteresty. So really love that. And then I also have Lightroom. I'm sure you guys know what Lightroom is. I edit my thumbnails on YouTube for here. I also, for here, on here on Lightroom. I also have used this as like storage for photos. Um, I, I, it's not the point in it, but as you can see, there's lots of photos on here. I edit lots of photos on here. So I use Lightroom all the time and I've been using it for years. I also have a subscription to Lightroom so I can like edit raw photos and stuff, which is really nice. And then last but not least in the social folder, I have the app called Play. Annalie and this app is 
used for planning your Instagram feed. I don't currently have any unposted photos on here, so there's nothing new to look at. I don't have anything planned for the future right now, but it's really helpful to see what everything looks like flowing all together. So then under that, we go to entertainment and I have Audible. You guys know what Audible is. Everyone and their mom was sponsored by Audible at some point a couple of years ago, but here is me. I get one credit a month and I get the plus catalog. I canceled my membership, so this is the last month that I have like the subscription, but I have so much. So like total listening time, I've listened to a total of 10 days, 16 hours, 45 minutes. I love listening to audiobooks and it's really nice because if you have Kindle Unlimited, there's also lots of books that are available on Audible as well. So you can use both, if that makes sense, without having to pay for a subscription. But this is the book that I just listened to on the story. It's this one, The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. And this is a new book that just came out and I just finished it the other day. It says there's 26 seconds left. So I thought it was really good. So there's that. And then I have podcasts. I hardly ever listen to podcasts, but when I do, I listen to Crime Junkie podcast and What We Said podcast. And then beside that is Netflix. I have other streaming services, but Netflix is the number one that I have. So it's right there. So it's easily accessible. And then I have a Kindle. I love reading as you can tell by Audible. I love reading and I have a Kindle, like an actual Kindle, but sometimes I don't have it with me or it's just easier to use my phone. So, or my Kindle's dead and I can't find the charger. Either way, I have the Kindle app on here because I'm... And then last but not least in entertainment is Planet Fitness. And the only reason it's in here is because there's not really a better place for it in my opinion on this screen, but I wanted to have easy access to it because it is the gym I go to most days. So beside that is photos. We all have lots of photos. I felt like it was good to have it easily accessible on the first page. So then below that we have a map. This is another one of those things that I wanted to have easily accessible. I didn't want to have to search for it every time I needed to use it. So I have it on here just so I can make sure that it's there because when you're driving, you don't want to have to stumble for a map. So it's there. Then I have the camera app. I don't ever use the camera app from here. I use it everywhere else, but I don't like on the home screen where you press the button and then whenever you like scroll down and get to it, I hardly ever use it any other way, which is silly. I shouldn't even have it here, but it is what it is. And then I have files. It's set up kind of like files on your MacBook. I use it so I can transfer files from my phone to my MacBook and to my iPad seamlessly through iCloud without having to like airdrop or download or email or any of that stuff. And lastly on this, oh, what is this doing here? Hold on. It's messed up. It got messed up. Let me fix it. I don't know how that happened. But lastly, I have Amazon in here. I have lots of shopping apps, but Amazon is the one I go to most frequently. I also just like to browse Amazon. Does that make me weird? It's kind of like when you go to Target and you just walk around. That's how I feel about Amazon's app. So there's that. And then the last widget is just this little watercolor thing. I thought it was pretty and matched the apps. So it's there. May change that in the future though. And then on the bottom row are my most used apps and the ones I want to reach for the most. So I have the YouTube app, obviously, because I love YouTube and I watch it all the time. And then I have messages because I want to know where messages are at all times. And then email because I check my email four million times a day. And then on the bottom is Safari because apparently I'm a psychopath because Safari is my preferred browser of choice. So there's that. That's the whole screen. And this is the pretty looking one. Oh, and the background I got from Pinterest. So now we move over to this side over here. I have calendar just because I like to be able to see what's going on. Um, I have the weather app because I can click on it and get to it really easily from here. Same thing with screen time. I have set screen time limits on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram just so that I'm not spending too much time on social media during the day. And then I have the battery little widget here and it shows me how much battery my phone has, how much battery my watch has, and more importantly, my AirPods, whatever I'm using them. So that's why I have that there. And then please don't judge me for my choice in music recently. Top Pop Country 2021. But I have Spotify here so that I can get to it pretty easily without having to have it on this page. And then I just have sub, sub account. And when I click on it, it doesn't take me to the app or anything. It literally just shows me the rounded number. So that's it. It's just there for prettiness, I guess. So that is all I have for those two pages. And now I'm just going to take you through my app library really quickly. On the top, there are suggestions and recently added, but those will be duplicates. So I'm going to skip those two folders. Also, when you have shortcuts, that means that the app is in your app library as well. I think all apps are in the app library, but so there is going to be duplicates. But here we go. We have social, we have clubhouse, Facebook, FaceTime, GroupMe, Instagram, LinkedIn, LinkedIn jobs, messages, messenger, phone, TikTok, and Twitter. I get notifications for clubhouse stuff and I get on Twitter like once a month. So I hardly ever use FaceTime. And if I do, I'll just use it through my phone. And then GroupMe, I just get notifications. I never really get on there very much. LinkedIn, LinkedIn jobs are professional things. And that's all for social. Then we have productivity and finance. So we have the calendar, cash app, contacts, credit karma, because we love adulting. Um, I have the done app, which is a habit tracker app. Dropbox and files are pretty much the same thing with different companies. And then flick type is an app that you can use to, what's the word I'm looking for? Type with a keyboard on your Apple watch. And then I have good notes. I don't know why it's on here. I never use it on my phone. I use it on my iPad all the time, but never on my phone. Then I have Google calendar. My husband has all of his stuff on Google calendar, shares his calendar with me. So that way I know what kind of events he has coming up. 
and then mail. We love checking the mail, email included. And then notes. I use notes all the time, but when I use it, I just search for it. PayPal is my last resort to transferring money. And then I have the Reminders app. Scanner Pro, the only reason I still have this app on here is because there are things that I've scanned in the past that are important for me to still have. And I have it sell on Etsy because I have an Etsy shop. And then Sheets is Google Sheets. It's just spreadsheets. Um, and I make a lot of spreadsheets on my computer. So it's nice to have them on my phone if I need to be able to see them. Shortcuts are necessary to create the shortcuts for all of your apps. So here they are. I didn't want to do it to all of the apps. So I just did it to the ones on the homepage. And then Smart Home Manager is for my Wi-Fi. It shows me how many devices are connected. I can kick devices off. I can, we have, it's new. It's a um, Wi-Fi extender on the desk up here. And it also shows me devices that are connected either hardwired or through Wi-Fi. And then I have SunTrust, Sun Trust, which is my bank app, Venmo. And then I have Google Voice, which is important for me because I have two TikTok accounts, one for just like personal and then one for my Etsy shop. And you have to have a phone number connected to the account. So I had to have a second phone number. So that's why I've got that. Widget Smith is how I get the widgets on my phone. And then Zoom, we all know what Zoom is. It's 2021. So next we have creativity. So Afterlight is photo editing. We have the camera app, Cameron Canon Connect, connects to my old Canon camera to my phone. We have Canva, which is a graphics app. Collageable makes collages, Facetune, film, InShot, Lens Buddy, Lightroom, Mini Link connects my Polaroid printer. And then we have Fonto, Photos, PixArt, Planoly, Pocket, Print, Template, Tezza, Unfold, Visco, and YouTube Studio, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with every one of those apps. And now we have utilities. We have the App Store, Calculator, use it all the time. Then Google Chrome. I hardly ever use Google Chrome because I do, like I said, prefer Safari, but sometimes websites work better on Chrome than they do on Safari. So there's that. And then I have the clock, always necessary. Also, let me show you the best part about not having a traditional job is that I have one alarm on and I can just snooze it if I want. Then there is Find My. So find my iPhone, my iPad. You know what a Find My is. And then there's the Measure app. I really like using this if I'm in a store and I need to buy something and I like don't think about measuring something first. And then I have Ring, which is my doorbell, obviously Safari and settings, then sub count, which is that little widget down there at the bottom of my other screen. And then themes. I've never used this, but if you want to try it out, I've heard it's really good. It helps you get themes on your phone so that they look pretty. So here they are. So you can see like if you want like a light tone, get theme. Obviously you have to pay for, you can either pay for the themes or you can subscribe to their or like buy all of the current themes. Or I think you can like look at the widgets. I'm not sure if you have to pay for the widgets. Yeah, you do. But <laughs> I don't know why I have this app on my phone because I don't use it, but it's there. Um, and then I have voice memos, wallet and watch. I use wallet all the time. And then I have to have watch for my watch. And then for entertainment, all of the streaming services, there's AT&T Watch TV, which comes free with our phones. We have Disney Plus. We have HBO Max, which comes with our internet. Hulu, IMDb, iTunes Store, music, which I never use. Netflix, podcasts, Prime Video, which I also never use. And Spotify, Apple TV, and YouTube. And then in information and reading, we have Audible, BBC News. I don't ever actually like read the news on here, but I do get BBC News alerts. So breaking news and stuff like that. So that way I can see what's going on in the world. Then we have the Bible, Buzzfeed, Goodreads. I love Goodreads. It's one of my favorite apps. I use it all the time. I'm currently reading a book. Oh, just kidding. I finished book 47 last night out of 100 for this year. And I'm 12 books ahead of schedule. I love reading books. I've already said that so many times in video, but this is where I keep track of all the books that I read. And then we have the Kindle app. We have Libby, which is from the library. So like, so these are all the books I have checked out right now. One, two, three, four, five. I have five books checked out right now. Um, and then I have hold and then you can see like the books that I've read and you can search your library. So like if I go to teens, these are all the books that are available. Love the Libby app. It's fantastic. And then translate. I feel like I don't use this like 99% of the time, but I do use it enough to, to download it every time I need it. So I just decided to keep it. And then the weather app, of course. Then we have travel. We have Airbnb. We run an Airbnb in our guest room, which is actually the room right next to the room I'm in right now. And then we have American Airlines and Delta Airlines. And then we have Get Upside, which is one that gives you like rewards for getting gas. And then Maps. Next we have Shopping. There's Amazon, Apple Store, Chick-fil-A, Dunkin' Donuts, Etsy, Influencer, Instacart, Moe's, Panera Bread, Shopkick, which gives you rewards for like scanning stuff in stores, Starbucks, Target, Ulta, Urban Outfitters, and Walmart. Next we have Health and Fitness. We have Fitness app, which goes with my watch. Kilo, which goes to my doctor's office. The Health app, which you literally can't even delete off your phone. The Pedometer and Planet Fitness. This is what Planet Fitness is good for. So like if you need to go to the gym, you do this and then this is how you scan your way to get in. Please don't use this. It has my photo, so please don't scan it. And then we have games because I'm lame. Sometimes I play games. I have a block puzzle, homescapes, hoopstack. I love Hue and Mahjong. Those 
those are the only games I have and I never tell any little kids that I have games on my phone. You got games on your phone? And then other, I don't know why Pinterest is not in social, but it is what it is. We have Alexa, we have the Drop app, which also gives you rewards for spending money. And then obviously Pinterest and then VSync, Wiz and Wise are all apps connected to smart plugs in my house. I have three different brands of smart plugs. So that's what they're all for. Those are all of the apps that I have on my phone. That's what's on my iPhone. If you guys enjoyed it, please let me know because I, someone asked me to do this whenever I talked about my phone one time. So thought I'd share. So yeah, that's all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.